Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. I have some videos for you to check out. They'll help you get your small engines and lawnmowers fixed. I have a whole collection of them. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Well, good day. So today we're going to work on a steel MS250. Uh, we tried adjusting the jets on the carburetor, but all it wants to do is die out when you give it some gas. So we're going to have to tear the carburetor apart and check out the diaphragm and see how they are. Go ahead and take the air filter off, make sure that's nice and clean. Take a 5 16th nut driver and take the air filter base off. Slide that out and push your throttle down to the choke position. So we can take this lever out for your choke. You need to hook the fuel line. Bring that like that. We need to hook the throttle. So we'll take it out of that clamp there. And we'll slide the carburetor out. And there we go. Clean this carburetor off a little bit, get all the dirt off of it. Blow it off. Okay, I'm going to take the top. It's a Zama carburetor. Usually on the steels, they have Zamas and Walboros. Take that off like that. And we'll go ahead and take the bottom off where the diaphragm's at. That's what pumps the gas from the gas tank up into the carburetor. Take that off like that. Going through the dial. Sometimes, you know, they'll stick on here. This one came off nice. And always make sure that little screen's nice and clear. There ain't no debris in there. We can tell right away what's wrong with this. The diaphragm's all stretched out. So, on the side of this carburetor, this one here is a C1Q. So we need to get a C1Q carburetor kit. So we'll go grab that real quick. Okay, I got my carburetor kit here. So go ahead and take it out. And always make sure you have the right carburetor kit before you take it out of the bag. And a lot of them that look really close, but they're not exactly the same. We take an air gun and just blow all the dust and everything off of it. Now, a little little trick to these needle and seat levers: if you have, run your screwdriver right across, 
It should be right level with that. That's how you can tell it's adjusted right. So I'll go and put the diaphragm side in. Always use your base gasket first, then put your diaphragm on. I'll give the diaphragm room to move. Put that on like that. Go ahead and tighten them two up. Just make sure they're snug, not too tight, it'll break the heads right off. Okay, now we'll do the other side. On this side, we're going to put the base gasket on first. Smooth one, get it down there, put it in, in the holes. Then you have to move your throttle up a little bit so it don't hit that. And it pops right in there. Keep pressure on it while you tighten this up or else it'll come right out. Snug that down. Yeah, the carburetor's all ready to go. So now we'll go ahead and put it back on. Show you your throttle shaft in there like that. Put that in there. Slides in the hole there and it hooks on like that. That way when you push down the choke, the choke butterfly shuts. Okay. Now we'll put our air cleaner base on. Well, 
we have it all apart, we might as well take the spark plug out, put a new spark plug in there. Let's make sure these nuts are nice and snug. And again, let's check the throttle there to make sure everything is not stuck and everything is moving free. Okay, pop this cover right out here. You can tell by looking at the spark plug too on what color it is. See how your fuel burn if it's burning too rich or too lean. And that one there has a nice brown burn. That spark plug's burning really good, but we'll go ahead and put a new one in there. in here make sure the gap is set right Just like that, put this back on here like that, lock it in place and turn it back up, okay, well let's see if it starts, we'll put some fresh gas in there, and we'll start her up, okay we got our gas in there, put it down on choke, we got one pull there, Sound just like brand new. I hope this video helped you out on putting a carburetor kit in one of these. And thank you and you have a good afternoon.